Hello, hello, hello. It's Knits for Sanity and welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, thank you so much for stopping by. And of course, if you're coming back, I always, always love having you. So today I have a quick little unboxing for you. If you can't read on the label, it comes from Paint Gem. Paint Gem is a company that I adore because they they have nailed a really great niche market within the diamond painting community. And if you don't know what I mean, I'm going to go ahead and open up this package and I think you'll probably pretty quickly figure it out. So here I have two of Paint Gem's diamond painting kits. And the niche market that I was talking about is the small canvas creations. They have totally nailed the ability to come up with the best designs that feature so well on these tiny little canvases. When I say tiny, I mean, you know, they fit comfortably within an A4 size book, um, even A5, depending on the particular kit that you get. So what this is, is each box contains several little diamond paintings. I have done paint gem kits before and I just love them. So they recently released this autumn edition and so I had to get this one. And then of course, you know, to get the free shipping, I had to get a second kit. So I also got the doors edition. So let's start with the doors edition. We're gonna open this one up and we'll just do a quick little run through. I'll show you everything that is included in one of these kits. They are of course all inclusive. So everything you need is in here. Um, I love these little boxes because you can typically fit everything you need to do your kits in here and they make like a nice little travel box, which is just this added bonus. Here are all of your drills. Now, Paint Gem, as far as I know, they do not yet use any special drills in any of their kits. I might be wrong about that now, but I, I don't think so. I think they still only use your standard drills and that's, that's okay. You'll understand when you see these little paintings why that is. You really don't need the special drills. Um, but they are gorgeous, gorgeous drills here. As you can kind of see, great, vibrant color. When I've used paint gym kits in the past, the junk drill or trash drills are minimal, which is always appreciative. I mean, it's going to happen. It's just part of the hobby, but it's not severe. Paint gym also does give you individual little stickers, which give you the code as well as the DMC color code. The DMC color code is just like your DMC thread for cross stitch, and it is just a universal coded system to distinguish which color is which color. And quite often, diamond art companies will use the same DMC code. Now, the one thing that I've always struggled with, <laughs> with Paint Gem, it's very, very minor, but their stickers are not in like any particular order, like they're not in a numerical order. And I like to kit up by numerical order. So it's always a little bit of a mm, seek and find whenever I kit up a paint gem kit. Again, I mean, very, very minor. It's not a big deal. This particular kit has quite a few colors in it though. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. So it looks like it's 12 per row, 36. 38, 40, 42. It looks like there's 44 colors in this kit, which is a lot, actually. So let's dive right in and take a look at the... Oh, I should probably show you this too, the toolkit. It's a standard toolkit. It is, however, I mean, it's very nice. It's completely adequate. Standard little drill pin here with a little foam cushion, which definitely I would recommend using this if you're going to use your standard drill pin. It just makes it a lot more comfortable. Two different multi-placers. Oh, almost threw one right off my desk. You have a little three-placer here. And then this looks like it's probably about an eight-placer. Which, with these kits, quite often you aren't going to use anything more than a three or four-placer anyway. So, just keep that in mind. And then there are a pair of tweezers in here. Uh, as far as plastic tweezers go, these are definitely the better of the plastic tweezer world. But if you happen to have metal tweezers and you use tweezers, I would probably recommend using those instead. You do get 
wax and it is in a container which I really really appreciate it just helps keep your wax nice and fresh and again I always want to point this out because I have made this mistake myself but just be aware there is a plastic piece on both sides of this wax one side is always a little bit harder to peel off than the other but before you can take your drill pen and apply wax to it you're going to have to remove that plastic and you do have a standard drill tray here. This is completely adequate to use for diamond painting and especially, again, kits this small. This toolkit is fully adequate. Um, you know, you don't need to worry so much about hand fatigue if you are doing these little bitty kits. So your standard drill pin is just fine. Um, the drill tray, it's small. You don't need a large one. So this kit is completely adequate given the size of these canvases. So now that you're like all peaked, like, okay, let's look at these canvases knits. We're gonna finally do that. So they always come in this really nice little clever folded up envelope here. You do have some tips and tricks up here. Open it up. It does give you instructions down the side. All right, so, oh, this one did come a little bent, no harm done. And inside you have all of these little bitty canvases where your image is right here on the center of the canvas. But they are adorable. Now this is new, my old kits don't have this, but they're actually numbered. So this is door number 12, door number 11, Oh, this is a festive door with a Christmas wreath there. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. I love, you know, and even on these little bitty canvases, the attention to detail. So if you've been looking, a lot of them do have a light outside their door, but it's always, you know, it's not positioned in the same spot. So here you have your light sitting on top of the door. Here your light is sitting next to your door. You know, they all have a wide array of outdoor decorations. Here you have a little watering can with flowers coming out of it. Here you have a little planter. The details, oh, here's another festive one. The details in these kits is truly remarkable. Here you have a little bit of a fence. Here you actually have a Christmas tree, a potted little Christmas tree sitting out front that has lights or ornaments on it. It is still topped by a star. So cute. You will be amazed at how much detail is in a tiny little print like this. And I'm going to measure the actual like surface area of what you work for each of these kits. And then you can see just how small this really is, but still how amazing they look. So let me get my measuring tape here. So from the furthest out place where you'd mark the drill, so it's eight centimeters, or right about three inches, I believe. Yep, right about three inches or eight centimeters by nine and a half centimeters or about three and three quarter inches. So if you wanted to round up, you could kind of say it's like a three by four inch drawing here or a eight by 10 centimeter, right? Cause it was eight. Yeah. So like an eight by 10 centimeter or three by four inch picture here. Super cute. You can get these done in one sitting, no problem. They usually take you less than an hour to do. They're just super duper fun. So this was the first kit that I got. This is one that actually came out, I believe last year and I've had my eye on it for quite some time. And like I said, what I really love about these is you can actually fit pretty much everything you need to diamond paint in here and then just carry this box around with you. It's great. It's its own little like carrying case. That was the doors edition. 
Now let's look at their newer autumn edition. Like I said, this is the kit that I saw and I went, okay, it's time. I got to get this one. So you open it up. I'm not going to really go through the toolkit again. If you missed the first part of the video, you can go check it out. But it is identical to the first toolkit. They do come in these lovely little bags that you can reuse to carry jewelry and such. I've actually given a couple to my daughters and I'm not 100% sure what they use them for, but they get used. I mean, it's, it's a nice little canvas tool bag. Here are all the drills for this one. And I bet even if you didn't know that this was an autumn kit, you could tell from these colors. I did forget to point out they are labeled. So if you have to store your drills separately from your canvas, it's not a problem. Although in this case, I really don't think that's going to be necessary because they all fit in this box so, so well. The other thing that I did not mention is each of your colored drills come in an individual little baggie, which I really, really appreciate that. It just makes kitting up easier. Or in fact, this is kitted up already. A lot of people do work directly from the little bags. They just pour their drills right into your drill tray from the bag. And when they're done, they just put the drills back into the bag. Each bag is already labeled and you are ready to go. Here is your sticker sheet again. Once again, there is no like real rhyme or reason for this numbering. I have a feeling it might have something to do with the weights of the drills used. Like maybe 310 is the least amount of drill in this kit. I'm not sure. Except no, because 5200 is, there's like very little white, which is what Z5200 is. Or it could be based on like the order of canvases. So maybe like the first canvas has these colors in it or something. And then the second canvas introduces, you know, like these two new colors. I have no idea how they do it. I have no clue. But I do appreciate having the little sticker sheet. Really cute handy packaging with all of the same stuff on the inside. And here are the canvases. Oh my word. These are so cute. So here is canvas 12. Um, you know, the doors are doors. These are all going to be completely different images. I mean, the doors are all obviously unique, but they're all doors. Versus here, we see we have some pumpkins, a sunflower, and a lantern. This is a really lovely little... I don't know if this is like a cabin or if this is actually like... It's hard to see because this is water and I can't tell if it's flowing underneath this. So is this like a bridge? I'm not sure. This is one that um, I think maybe when it's done and I look at it from further away, it will make a little bit more sense to me. But I just, oh, I love the colors in here. Adorable fox. Looks like he has some corn or dried wheat behind him. A jam jar. Oh, yes, of course. It is definitely canning season. Here you have your wonderful red truck. Now, <laughs> I've never seen a red truck carry gourds this large in its back before. That is really, really impressive. <laughs> this is so cozy. Pa stack of books looks like a cup of tea or possibly coffee with some colorful fall foliage on top. Such a cozy little image. Oh, talk about cozy. Here you go, your perfect little cozy fall house. Oh, happy fall. Quintessential, like late September image right here. You harvested pumpkins, but there's still some green. So this is totally like right now for us, early mid-September. Same with this, the sunflowers, the pumpkins, even late August. Love it. Oh yes, rain boots with an umbrella. It is raining today, in fact. This is a very appropriate little image for today. And finally, this one actually goes on its side. Mm, ah. Trying to decide which way it looks better. Maybe, no, maybe. 
Oh, this is it. Never mind. <laughs> it is still a vertical. It's not a horizontal. I think this is how it goes. I think this is like a hanging fall decoration piece with your acorns here. So this is the autumn set, which seeing these, now all I want to do is this set. I love it. I mean, I love the doors too, but this just like warms my soul. It is so amazing. <laughs> so that is what Paint Gem is all about. They specialize in doing these little canvases. Um, you know, in the past they have had some slightly larger images. Uh, now they're down to pretty much just two different sizes. You have this size, which is little, but then there are a couple of other series that are available that do have a slightly larger image to them. And that's really it. So it's just these fantastic little diamond paintings where you truly want just a snack, as we say in the industry, a true, this is a true snack size. This may be even called a bite size. So if you are into, you know, immediate reward <laughs> with nothing but like relaxation, go check out Paint Gem. I highly, highly recommend them. I wanna show you one final feature here, the backs of the boxes. So if you are like me and you like to have a diamond painting journal where you keep track of everything you've done, including an image of the finished product, so or like the original image is probably the better way to put it. What I do is I will actually either cut out and use this back or I'll take a photocopy of the back of these boxes where you see all of the designs available with a teeny tiny image next to each one. And this is what I will typically photocopy because then I can leave this on the box so I know which box this is. Although I could very easily just write on the box, you know, autumn edition. And then here again, the exact same thing. All of these lovely, lovely little doors. I'm a sucker for these door series ever since they came out, like what, year 2000 approximately? <laughs> Um, so anyway, that is all for today, guys. Definitely go check out Paint Gem. Just fantastic little diamond paintings available over there. Quite often you can find a discount to code too for about 10% off. I think there is one even listed on their website, especially if you are a first time buyer. All right, guys, like I always say, please practice kindness. You never know what someone is going through. You don't know their current situation. So just be kind. Show a little bit, little bit of extra patience that will go a very long way. I hope that you are having a wonderful day and I will see you again real soon.